Hey guys, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about cryptocurrencies. What are they and most importantly, why are they so famous? So let's get started. So what are cryptocurrencies? A cryptocurrency can be called as a digital or virtual money. It's not like virtual money we have in bank accounts, which remains the same excluding the interest we get because there is not much difference. But this virtual money which we are talking about can be traded, sold as well as can be bought for profits. The cryptocurrencies are secured by cryptography which makes them nearly impossible to counterfeit or double spend. Actually the cryptocurrencies are stored in a wallet, not a real one but a virtual one. Now we can also store them in a virtual wallet as we discussed as well as it can, it can also be stored in a physical wallet like a pen drive or a CD-ROM which makes them super portable plus as they are encrypted through cryptography it is nearly impossible to just copy it and paste it on some other location it's doubling it so due to cryptography it's nearly impossible to counterfeit them or double them the transaction of bitcoins are implemented using the blockchain technology we discussed about the blockchain technology previously in this course the deep dark web works on the same blockchain technology in blockchain technology the signal from host device is bounced through several servers and is encrypted at each server till it reaches the requested device. Due to this blockchain technology, the cryptocurrencies are impossible to track. On the positive side of the blockchain technology, we can say that all your transactions are anonymous. But on the negative side of blockchain technology, the cryptocurrencies one transfer, once transferred cannot be returned or claimed back. The main positive points about cryptocurrencies is that they are not issued by any central authority rendering them theoretically immune to government interference or manipulation. So at it is, as it is state that cryptocurrencies are not issued by any central authority or any government due to which it's impossible for the government to keep track of these currencies. Also as these currencies cannot be tracked, it's largely used to convert black money into white money. Now we will discuss about the main key points about cryptocurrencies. A cryptocurrency is a new form of digital asset based on a network that is distributed across a large number of computers. This decentralized structure allows them to exist outside the control of governments and central authorities. As we discussed earlier, these cryptocurrencies are not controlled by any government or any third party organization. So they are impossible to track. Also, it's impossible for the governments to keep track of it. That's why. They are used in marketplace of the deep, deep dark web, totally anonymous, cannot be tracked. The word cryptocurrency is derived from the encryption techniques which are used to secure the network. Actually, the encryption which is used to encrypt these virtual currencies is known as cryptography, due to which its name as cryptocurrency. Fact: The first ever cryptocurrency was made in July 2010, which was Bitcoin which is also the most expensive cryptocurrency till date. It said that it was developed by Satoshi Nakamoto, who is a Japanese person. Cryptocurrencies face criticism for a number of reasons, including their use for illegal activities, exchange rate volatility and vulnerabilities for the infrastructure underlying them. However, they have also been praised for their portability, divisibility, inflation resistance and transparency. Yes, the criticism factor can be seen clearly if we consider the deep dark web, but if we compare them with the positive points, the cryptocurrencies seem to be important. Talking about its portability factor, we already discussed earlier that it can be stored in virtual wallets as well as in physical wallets like pendrive or CD-ROM. Thus, they are super portable. Cryptocurrencies divisibility factor is one of its main factors. People that have never used cryptocurrencies before might think that they are required to purchase a whole Bitcoin to trans transact with the new form of cryptocurrency. However, one Bitcoin is divisible into 100 million units and its smallest, unis, smallest unit is called a Satoshi. So it's not compulsory to buy a full single cryptocurrency as it may be costly, but you can buy them in parts. That's divisibility. The transparency factor helps in easy we can say buying and selling of cryptocurrencies why cryptocurrencies why actually we are talking this much about cryptocurrencies 
and why are they very famous okay for the sake of this question we are only going to talk about bitcoins so first let's talk about its history it was developed by satoshi nakamoto it has high volatility that is its price can go up or down very rapidly it was started in july 2010 its starting price was 8 cents okay that was 2010 but talking about 2020 its price is $16,563 that mountain high 20 million percent increase and that's not a small value let's see its graphical form so you see people who have purchased bitcoins for 8 cents in 2010 have converted these 8 cents into $16,000 in just 10 years due to this high volatility factor the bitcoins are being more famous to and they are investing a loads of money in them fact there are only maximum 21 million bitcoins in the world and today there are around 18.5 million bitcoins in circulation you guys that's it for this lecture we discussed about the origin and the basic points about cryptocurrencies in the next lecture we'll be discussing about the advantages and disadvantages of cryptocurrencies see you there thank you very much